Good morning, everybody. This is uh, Patrick Montes de Oca with the uh, Equity Management Academy Live Trading Room. What I would like to do on the segment here is to uh, invite you to the Money Show Virtual Expo, May 11th through the 13th. I will be a guest speaker talking about the VCPMI, a GPS for your trading at 3.40 p.m. What I want to do is share with you um, the educational video that we uh, prepared for intermediate traders at this point, and uh, we'll take a look at the uh, at the market action here a little bit. Intelligent algorithmic trading systems. Humans are smart. We have sent men to the moon. We have harnessed nuclear power. We have created beautiful symphony, paintings, and art. We do have our limitations. However, the inability to fully understand and profit from complex financial markets runs up against those limitations. Therefore, many traders and analysts have turned to mathematics and computers to attempt to model the markets and predict future price movements in order to trade profitably. Algorithmic trading systems use mathematical models to analyze financial markets to determine when to buy and sell as, we, as well as to execute and manage orders once they have been placed. Such systems can be manually operated by human traders, partially automated by human traders in algorithms, or fully automated through the use of algorithms in a form of artificial intelligence. Technical and fundamental analysis. The VCPMI relies on technical analysis to analyze markets and predict future movements. Many traditional analytical approaches rely on technical analysis which seeks to use price trends and patterns in charts to provide information on potential future prices. Such an approach uses historical prices and indicators to identify zones of supply and demand where buyers and sellers are likely to change the price of the financial product in an attempt to profit and predict future price movements. Technical and fundamental analysis. The VCPMI is designed for day swing and long-term traders and hedgers. The VCPMI produces a trading structure of five levels of supply and demand based on daily, weekly, monthly, and annual data. The mean or market price to buy levels below the market buy one and buy two and two sell levels above the market sell one and sell two. When prices reach these extreme levels above or below the mean, it is a 90% buy one and sell and 95% buy two and sell two probable that prices will revert back to the mean by the end of the trading session daily, weekly, monthly, or annual depending on the data used to create the structure and the levels. The VCPMI prepares you ahead of time prospectively the levels to exceed and execute for the next trading session by removing the guesswork and random trading out of your trading you become an executor in essence a real trader instead of trying to analyze where the market is going minute by minute day by day and month by month chances are that by the time you find out where the market is going by using conventional forms of analysis or wisdom it will be too late especially in today's rapid electronic and virtual environment where a second can make the difference between a fortune gained and a fortune lost the variable changing price momentum indicator automated the variable changing price momentum indicator vcpmi is an intelligent automated algorithmic trading system the primary driver of the vcpmi is the principle of the reversion to the mean the system is based on fundamental logic and the principles of wave counts fibonacci numbers again principles supply and demand levels pivot points moving averages and momentum indicators 
the concept, connecting all these individual factors into one directional algorithm is the science of vortex mathematics. The VCPMI currently runs on five markets, gold, silver, soybeans, e-mini S&P, 500, crude oil, and we have added Bitcoin. The program is completely automated by using TradeStation Technologies, Inc., and is available from the TradeStation App Store. Are you looking for an automated artificial intelligence trading system? Do you want to analyze commodities and financial markets to determine when to buy and sell? Looking for an indicator to predict future trends in the commodities and financial markets? Welcome to EMA2 Trade Live Signals, our variable changing price momentum indicator, VCPMI is an automated AI trading system developed and tested over a decade. The VCPMI algorithm is based on age-old vortex mathematics combined with Fibonacci wave theory, trend analysis, pivot points, and several other widely accepted financial analytical methods. The VCPMI can help you take emotions out of your trading and rely on simple mathematics to predict future trends in financial markets. This approach will make your trading more effective, consistent, and profitable. VC PMI Algorithm The VC PMI code points and levels are support and resistance levels and behave exactly like any historical supply and demand level. Therefore, the VC PMI code levels are useful as an index tool for both day trading and for selecting and exercising entries and exits for longer term traders. Why VCPMI? The VCPMI relies on artificial intelligence to analyze markets and predicts future movements, which seek to determine what a security or commodity is worth at a given point in time. The VCPMI uses technical analysis in the form of mean reversion trading, which seeks to capitalize on extreme changes in the pricing of a particular market based on the assumption that it will revert to its previous state. The VCPMI can be applied to both buying and selling as it allows a trader to profit on unexpected upswings and save when security or commodity is trading at an abnormal level. Visit ema2trade.com for more details. Let's say uh, intelligent algorithmic trading systems. Let's move right into uh, the monthly report that we just published in Secret Alpha here and review the monthly the monthly levels here that uh, has been identified by the VCPMI. Um, we one of the filters that we use as well um, in terms of the longer term, outlook in the market is the nine day the nine uh, uh, day the nine week the nine month moving average and in this case um it's uh, 1840 uh, that we're looking at the simple moving average is 1840 and uh the market uh, basically closing above it activated a a bullish A bullish uh, price momentum and uh, automatically it uh, pretty much activates the targets of 1829 to 1842 with the uh, protective level to be at 1805 when the market came through 1805 last week it activated the monthly price trend momentum and automatically the targets of 1829, 1842 were, were activated. The, uh, the high that we have seen so far, 1846 today. So we've completed the, the monthly target. And we have uh, recommended uh, 
our traders in our private trading room way before today basically these levels were ideal levels if you uh if you came in if you came into uh to the market if you came in long here today to be able to capture to be able to capture some of this profits you're being offered at about 1846 47 given a uh, uh 10% uh margin of error i would say to you that uh Pretty much, uh, it satisfied this previous pattern, and the market has activated a bearish, a bearish signal now, a bearish trigger uh, on the gold market from that 1847, 1847 target. The silver market uh, a little more volatile. And uh, it has pretty much confirmed that target to be completed of the uh, cell, the cell one level of eighteen of twenty seven eighty three, and the the volatility is getting really uh, uh, really uh, large in relation to to uh to the market here and you know we are seeing moves in silver of uh, 40 50 cents you know three or four dollars pretty much uh uh like it was normal trading and and these are unusual times the market in silver came down uh from the short trigger and it completed the target already from 2783 to 2753 this was the short trigger and now it's uh uh, completed the target and, and, and it's reverting uh, to the upside. So if we get a close above the uh, daily average of 2753, it's going to activate a bullish price momentum once again. And the target of 2783 to 2881 is activated. I think what uh, what we're looking at here, and uh, for the time being, um, I am advising my uh, subscribers, my traders here, that you want to you want to take a little bit of a defensive posture in here uh, when you get when you're up into these levels, particularly when you're getting the harmonic alignments, uh, also including the monthly the monthly targets. And, you know, when you're completing the targets, whether it's daily, weekly, monthly, you want to follow the methodology and the uh, uh, systematic approach, you might say, the algorithm AI recommends for you, and that is to book in profits, take profits at those targets. What the VCPMI does is it identifies, obviously, the extreme levels above and below the market. By identifying an average price, it can extrapolate the extreme above the supply and demand uh, for that session. So if we're looking at day trading, we're going to be looking at the daily structure that you see here. In that it gives you the five Fibonacci perfect, five Fibonacci levels. Within those levels, it gives you an average price and the vortex 
mathematics combines this average price, identifying the algorithm mathematically uh, to give you probability factors uh, that if we get up to the cell one level, for example, as we have completed this target here this morning, a reversion back down is about a 90% probability relative to the implied volatility to the mean, which is a 50-50 standard deviation. And what the signal is saying here mathematically is that it has completed the target, the cell one target, and it has found the sellers or the supply that was recommending uh, will or could potentially show up here as the market is approaching a overbought condition. But the AI gives you the trigger point. And so specifically tells you on the first bar, on using the 15 minute bar, you take your profits. If the market closes below the second bar, that's your trigger point. You go short, you put your stop right above, conservatively right above the close of the bar of the pivot point where you enter the position. And you also have two other choices as stops, the dollar stop or the close. So we have identified a short trigger in gold. And silver is uh, already completed that, that uh, trigger and is neutral right now. We uh, want to see the market in gold and silver get rid of this overbought condition and when it comes down into, uh, into the blue levels by one or by two, ideally, ideally, harmonically aligned, that is the time. Uh, whatever level it may be, it may be at a higher price, uh, we don't know that. Only the market knows. A little bit of profit taken came in here and nugget uh, some of the derivatives, obviously, with a strong gold market up here. But you can see that the markets are in an area of distribution of supply. And it is suggesting for you to lock in profits up here to take a bit of a defensive, of a defensive posture up here.
I think the uh, the setup, the ideal setup that uh, we're looking at is uh, a correction into this blue levels here, ideally into uh, into the end of uh, of this month. I think the market got ahead of itself. It basically bought the rumor of the unemployment numbers, I believe, or either that or it got leaked out because the market rallied from that level to the uh, to the high that we're looking at in the 1850s at level, which is the sell month, the sell one monthly target completed. And so I think the market is going to digest uh, the fundamentals that we have and look for additional news, additional stimulus news that uh, will support the market into a higher fractal in price. But I do want to caution buyers up here in the gold market, silver market, that it is a little bit risky to buy up here. The uh, VCPMI probability factors are telling us that buying up here in gold, you're looking at about a maybe a 10 to a 5% probability that the market will continue to go up from here. It's still a fairly largeable percentage, but it identifies the area where you can experience or begin to experience supply, sellers. The uh, exchange of the supply and demand begins to occur. The mini S&P 4226 just continues to uh, challenge any fundamental or economic news that come out negatively. It, it just does not uh, uh, seem to budge on any, any negative news. The uh, one... Uh, uh, ETF that we're looking at uh, aggressively is coin uh, as uh, is a buy and hold I believe asset uh, that uh, is going to have I believe a big share of this new virtual market here with regards to uh, trading virtual currency so we want to hold on to that asset we want to trade short term GBTC and uh, obviously uh, the gold and silver markets have been very good to us so far, considering the fact that uh, we are in this uh, whipsaw, whipsawing, you know, environment, uh, trading back and forth, you know, uh, in a consolidation for seven months. The uh, VCPMI has been able to uh, find the uh, balance in all in in, in that correction and provide some great trading opportunities for those that can take advantage of it. Uh, for those that bought the market uh, long term, I, I don't think you need to worry about it. I think, in fact, it's a great opportunity to add to the market. Any time that you get a correction in the gold market, the, the gold market should be bought. Um, it still has a long way to go before it adjusts to its mean. We don't know what that mean is based on the uh, relationship to the debt, to the uh, uh, commodities markets, to inflation, and to the actual true essence of price discovery. Without the uh, manipulation, you might say, of short selling in the futures markets. Uh, We want to maintain, again, a defensive posture in the metals here up here. Yeah, if you're thinking of, 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 of buying this market here at this point up here, you may want to take a pause and wait for a correction, uh, potentially even uh, ideally 
uh, back down into that uh, 1815, 1805 level. The 1800 level, the 1800 handle, I believe, is uh, is going to be tested before the market resumes. The uptrend, I believe, the 1800 level is going to be tested. The silver market seems to uh, a have activated a short trigger than, than sooner than the gold market. Actually, both now are in a short trigger. The silver completed that target already, so it's neutral, but the gold market is in a short trigger mode. The target is 1830. The most uh, active markets that we are uh, trading right now uh, is in gold, silver. The uh, We are trading the uh, GBTC, which is the Grayscale Bitcoin Investment Trust, and we are trading coin as well. The algorithm produces uh, universal signals um, in more than 70 markets, as you can see here. Uh, this is the live trade station platform, and uh, we have access to pretty much across the board with regards to uh, the algorithms. Apple, uh, it gives us uh, the uh, um, information, you know, for us to, if we wanted to act on it on a day basis, weekly basis, monthly basis, um, we can we can do that. The, the area that I'm focusing in in terms of my own trading here is in, in gold and silver. Um, it, uh, it's providing with the uh, tremendous uh, volatility that, that I need that, uh, the, uh, uh, algorithm, you know, requires, uh, in order to be effective. And so, you know, it doesn't really matter to me as long as I can produce the, uh, the results uh, that, uh, that we're getting here. And I think, I think the house account for the past 15 months is producing about 33% average a month, which is just unbelievable. The target was completed on silver. There's no signals.
And I'm focusing right now on the technicals of the market pretty much because the fundamentals have not changed. They, you know, they have not changed at all. And uh, I think the uh, market has pretty much discounted all that fundamental information that we've been dealing with, with regards to the stimulus, with regards to the taxes, the Biden triple threat, so to speak, that we have. And I think there's nothing really new uh, fundamentally here to bring on board. So this is what you see is the market resting. Some sellers come in, supply comes in. And uh, the reversion back to the mean, un you know, unfolds. So the more supply seems to be coming into the market and uh, it looks like it's coming in with high volume here. So, uh, yeah, it looks like buyers are taking advantage of this targets and supply is coming into the market. A little bit of selling is coming into the market. Silver is getting weaker here, a little more supply coming in, 27.58. So I, I think we are positioned correctly here in uh, suggesting you to be defensive in gold and silver up here. Um, if you haven't already done it. Eighteen thirty nine ninety traded below eighteen forty in gold. It's not going to be a good sign for the bulls if we get this market to close down negatively after the rally that we saw here today. They give you a really great opportunity to lock in some profits here this morning.
good strong market here on derivatives uh nugget uh up 152 j nug up 194 these are bullish derivatives double x velocity etfs that we use as well to position ourselves and hold on to a longer term position intermediate position these instruments are uh, aggressive instruments to uh, to trade short term you uh, you want to maximize the volatility with these instruments and lock in your profit short term Eighteen forty, eighteen forty in gold traded last thirty nine eighty traded. Let's uh, let's continue to uh, watch the market here for a few minutes and just allow for the uh, volatility to resolve itself here. And uh, I will be back here in a couple of minutes.
very quiet, very quiet here. Uh, silver picking up a little steam here, 1765. Gold is uh, pretty much unchanged. Just to review, uh, what I would like to do is just play a uh, podcast that we did on May the 2nd and and, and just to kind of refresh what, uh, what the uh, VCPMI was looking at that point and see where we are. Hello, everybody. This is the Equity Management Academy Weekend Podcast Report for May the 2nd, 2021. Gold. More money is going to be chasing fewer goods, which will lead to inflation. Summary. Different sectors of the economy, such as home sales, are rising fast. Interest rates are rising and hard assets, for the most part, are increasing in value. Chairman Powell highlighted that the economy is growing faster than anticipated and rising interest rates is one sign of that rapid growth. Governments cannot allow interest rates to rise on the long end of the market, given the mountain of debt, close to $30 trillion. Looking for a portfolio of ideas like this one, members of Mean Reversion Trading get exclusive access to our model portfolio in seeking alpha fundamentals the uh, 10 year note is rising reaching 168 this may be one of the reasons why the price of metals are coming down chairman powell highlighted that the economy is growing faster than anticipated and rising interest rates is one sign of that rapid growth if interest rates rise in the short term, gold and silver will probably be bearish under normal market conditions. That is what normally happens. However, we are not in normal situation. We are in a unique position. Different sectors of the economy, such as home sales, are rising fast. Interest rates are rising and hard assets, for the most part, are increasing in value in relation to the US dollar is declining in value as we print more and more money. Since the US went off the gold standard in 1971, we have been exporting inflation to the rest of the world. Now we have a debt greater than our GDP. Governments cannot allow interest rates to rise on the long end of the market given the mountain of debt close to $30 trillion. If the 30-year bond rate increased, debt defaults would spread across the country and the world. However, the 10-year note is beginning to anticipate inflationary pressures. The key is how fast will the velocity of money become in the economy? The faster it is, the faster inflation will rise. Energy prices and food prices are already rising fast. One way to protect yourself from inflation is hard assets, and gold and silver are hard assets. In the 1970s, we saw inflation rising, hitting double digits, and while interest rates hit more than 14%, gold also rose rapidly in value. The same scenario is likely to happen again. It looks like the money is going to come into the economy faster than expected, which, with, uh, which will highlight 
issues with supply chains and cause rising prices and inflation. More money is going to be chasing fewer goods, which will lead to inflation. Gold and silver. Gold is showing a weakness due to the expiration of options. This is a classic example of what is called spoofing or scaring the market. It is becoming obvious that whatever, whenever options expire, there is a tremendous sell-off in the futures markets, which overshadows the fundamentals and real market conditions. It kills the premiums of calls that are expiring. In silver, it's even worse because silver is a thinner market. If you look at the volume of short contracts sold today, it is well above the norm. Silver fell 60 or 70 cents. The paper market is flooded and it causes the market to fail, running through stops. That is why we recommend using a trailing stop once you trade enters a profitable level. Our proprietary variable changing price momentum indicator, the VCPMI, got out before this drop. Since our subscribers were warned last night to get out. For silver, based on the VCPMI 360 day cycle, we recommended going long now because we expect a reversion to occur. Regardless of what uh, uh, brought the market down, it is hitting what the VCPMI considers an extreme level around 2518. The VCPMI by one level is 2585 with targets of 2615 and 2618. For gold, by on a close above the VCPMI weekly level of 1761. The VCPMI buy signal of 1765 has already been activated and the VCPMI is saying to buy at 1755. The weekly buy to signal is 1761. Could hit an extreme above the mean and is now coming down. Reaching an extreme below the mean where the odds greatly favor the market reverting back up to the mean. This is what the VCPMI is based on, mean reversion trading. We trade the extremes of the market where the odds greatly favor the market reverting from those extremes to the mean. The weekly target is 1780. The daily target from 1750, uh, 1755 is 1781, which was completed. And then 1768 and the average price of 1775. The monthly support is at 1754. This is a high probability area to go long, whether it is in futures options, ETFs, or stocks, or some combination, depending on your skill and interest as a trader. These corrections, if the markets in, in the markets create incredible trading opportunities, the VCPMI acts as a GPS to help you identify those opportunities. We remain net long on our core gold and silver positions while day trading the daily fluctuations and buying on corrections to add to our core long position. I think uh, what we're looking at is the targets being completed here once again this morning at 1846. Uh, 1846.30 was the high, 1846.60 was the target of sale one, and we're trading at 1839.50. So we are getting a reversion unfolding from the sale one level here in gold and silver. So you want to maintain this position here now uh, for the time being. Uh, again, until Ideally, the price comes down into the blue levels. Ideally, harmonically aligned between the daily, the weekly, and the monthly.
continue to be defensive up here, fade the rally up here. If you uh, shorted the market up here and you took profits or hedged or uh, pretty much uh, synthesize your your profits here, then you know uh, you want to just uh, once again wait for the market to correct into the ideal levels of the blue levels of buy one and buy two, and ideally, ideally to be harmonically aligned in all of the three trends. A little more supply coming in here in the gold market. You can see, you can see the supply uh, being reflected in the red bars. If they are able to get the gold market to uh, close negative today it's going to be an extremely bearish indicator confirming that the vcpmi target has been completed at the sell one level which is a 90 percent relative implied volatility to the mean with a one-to-one -one factor the mean is 1830 and that is the target now uh, that has been activated by this short trigger in the gold market The uh, silver market now is uh, trading on the average once again. And so a close below this, this average price that we're looking at is going to activate the lower levels below, which are the buy one trigger of 1726 to 2696 on the silver market. And uh, that puts the gold down into 1815 to 1798. What you got to remember here that is, uh, in terms of the gold market, uh, the uh, a low end of uh, this range, uh, we're looking at the 1670 approximately, which is the golden ratio Fibonacci retracement of uh, the low that we made in March to the recent high that we made in August at 2089 and uh, the market coming down into this 61.8% uh, uh, Fibonacci retracement um, has reverted from there basically uh, and uh, activated obviously this bullish pattern here and the targets are being completed as we speak. This is the second time that the market came up to test this highs here of 1844, 1842. We've been recommending our subscribers and traders take profits up here. If you're within 10% margin of error of the pivot point target, it satisfies the criteria. Continue to hold your synthesized long position. Um, just play it a little bit conservative here. Uh, defensive until the end of this month. And uh, let's continue to take a look at where some of this support may be identified here as we move into the end of the month. Once again, uh, thank you once again, ladies uh, and gentlemen, for the opportunity that you've given me here to share this information with you. And I sincerely hope that you are benefiting by this every day. That's my mission. Until next time, my friends, take care, be well, protect your profits at these levels. Talk to you soon.
The risk of loss in trading commodity interests can be substantial. You should therefore carefully consider whether such trading is suitable for you in light of your financial condition, and considering whether to trade or to authorize someone else to trade for you. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Patrick, I know from our previous discussions, you have a somewhat different background than uh, many uh, typical traders. Uh, can you share with us, please, uh, how you got started